It produces a carrier. It's probably a good yeah. thing that she's up because you know you're not supposed to look at cheese Rick. Why does Santa Claus? Yeah, pancake. Yeah, yeah that's definitely. Okay, so let's grab courier. Forty, you're a bad boy. This Tango. Santa Claus is real. Salve. Oh, I'm that's a this one is in the bag. Bag. This one is in the bag. And um, let's grab one observer ward and let's get two value branches or one value branch. It's valued. Oh, nice bunny. Um, okay, so you're going bottom? These lanes are dumb. Welcome to my games, man. These lanes are so dumb. Morty, I'm getting ready for the game to start in 30 seconds. Oh, I'm scared. Oh my god, whatever. Okay, so yeah. let's let's roll out and make make things happen. Where should I put my ward? We're going to put it at the at the <laughs> war at the rune spot just to keep it simple. Um as replacing the the ward uh, as we're placing the ward here, I want you to be, as you're walking out, I want you to be checking your allies' items, and if you see any enemies, check your enemies' uh, items also. Look at this game. It just started, baby. That's for me. The bounty okay, cool. So let's go to the lane, and let's look to try and get some sense of a block, uh, potentially. And, um, you know, we'll just go from there. We probably aren't going to get a block ourselves. Where's he going? Already got the courier coming. What did he get? Uh, bottle. So let's focus on getting his last hits since no one's here. We can also try doing that creep aggro pull thing that we we did in the one v one. So you want to do that as much as possible. Try to pull the creeps as fur as further as possible. Something else that you're going to need to pay attention for now is just like a focus of clumping. Um, it, you don't want to make it so that if Tiny were to throw an avalanche that it hits both of you. Think of it in a okay. similar regard as like Light Strike Array. Yeah. Yeah. Now you guys should at least be trying to contest him for farm or last hits or something like that. I Level 1 at farming in this lane. anyone, whoever can get the last hits. That's what you're into right now, okay? It. Where you're at right now isn't going to be so much as a cut and dry, I'm the support, you're the carry. Right now, we just need to have someone get the last hits. And if it's always you, that's fine. It doesn't matter. What I want you to do is I want you to go to the side shop and I want you to grab an orb of venom. As soon as the creep wave isn't so crazy. All right, never mind. We've got an axe now. Let's back up. Don't let the creeps hit you. We don't want to break that clarity off of you. So should I go fire blast or night? I like to put my second point into Ignite just because it's a little bit more damage, you know, then level 4 you'll follow up with Fire Blast. Let's grab... yeah! We're gonna be fun with that. So, you can just like, run away right now with what you want to run away, because Axe, Ooh, Berserk a Call, and the Tiny, and yeah, they're just gonna be annoying like that. So, if you're able to throw an Ignite on whoever is lower HP, that'll probably be beneficial for you. Um, generally, you're gonna want to use the Ignite when they're going to do last hits, because it slows them down then. What was that? He berserker called and then ran into battle. Yeah, I don't even know what that does. Uh, what berserker call does? Yeah. So if you are next to him when he does berserker call, it forces you to attack him. Yeah, it's a taunt. All right, he said he's lagging, so you just take all the last hits if you can. From the side shot, let's grab our boots. If we're looking at the mini map, we can see sniper running around. That's it. That I'll, I'm just saying that he's doing it. So you can use your ignite to break that clarity off of Tiny. Never mind, it broke on its own. Oh, yeah, hit him. 
What's that? That I was trying to, but I wasn't close enough for it. No, that's fine. Stay back. And he just whiffed that again. That's great for you. So let's try and get these last hits. If you see him casting spells, yeah. that means that they're on cooldown. And he's not using them at effective times. You don't want to be spamming your fire blast so or your. Uh, to remove the battle hunger, yes. And it can be a deny, but the level 1 battle hunger doesn't really do much, so you shouldn't really be too scared of it. So if we're able to get up to the side shot, then let's grab uh, boots, of, boots of Speed. If we were to look at the minimap, we could see Tiny, or excuse me, we could see that the... Yep, Magnus and the Sniper. So Sniper's coming down here for some reason. So is Lone Druid, I don't know why. So stay within experience Ooh, range, you know, like this sort of side. area. And, you know, as the creep wave comes up, then let's look to run back a little bit. The only thing that you would really need to be scared of right now would be if the Tiny magically starts using, like, his throw effectively in conjunction with the Avalanche. So what's going on on the minimap? What's going on? Now, we need to remember effective use of our spells. That stun on the sniper really didn't accomplish much, did it? Let's keep backing up. To your tower, preferably. Behind the tower or in the trees. Yeah, and use your salve. Good. Uh, with the way that they're pushing the tower, we're going to have to get it from the courier. So let's have boots purchased from the courier, and let's have that come to you. And boots. Oh, he no. said sniper appeared out of nowhere. You can see that coming from like, you can see him like from there. I'll be back. I don't know. You've almost got the courier coming here with your boots. Then you'll be fancy. Tiny's just burning mana. Dumber, dumber. Awesome. Stay back, don't get hit by the shrapnel. And now you see how the whole creep wave is on him? Why do you, is there three people down here? They're not gonna accomplish anything. So try to hold your Ignite for if you see someone on the enemy team that's going for last hits, or if they have a Clarity on them. Because the Ignite has much further range like than, that, than that of your Fire Blast. Alright, so he just burned another... <laughs> yeah, they're just spamming their spells at inefficient times, it's pretty funny. He's also got a Quelling Blade on him, too. So we're getting experience, we're level 6. This Ignite is gonna start to do some serious work on these guys. Because you're spreading around the love, which is... your fire. Is that a thing? Yeah, your fire love? Fire love. I like that. Now, since we're gonna be playing as a support carry ogre, we're gonna we're gonna just murder everybody. Oh, oh, Sound good? Yep. All right. Uh, Let's make sure we don't take any damage from these creeps, so that our clarity doesn't pop off. Never mind. I forgot he could do that. Yeah, it's Even okay. He's been doing it all lane. You can see in the in the jungle we have a tiny over here, so we need to watch our positioning. Tiny, we're gonna have to also assess how much mana he has. So next time you see him, next time you see Axe, these are things that you want to also kind of keep in the back of your head. How much mana they have, because he's got full mana.
You should grab that range creep in the back. So there's no one nearby. Let's try and get these last hits here. Get all the last hits. Good stuff. Good stuff. Oops. Oh, that's okay. So, what we're going to want to do after we get our mana boots is that we're going to want to get more wards up. Now, this is going to be much more for us than our team. If your team is playing in this sort of hectic, haphazard manner where people are just kind of doing whatever they want, when you are buying yeah. Observer wards, they are for your direct benefit. Although, yes, they are for the team, when you're buying these wards, they're for you. So you can use your Ignite to harass them, and you can use your Ignite to last hit as well also. Oh, you're getting great multicast. That is awesome. I would go straight into Fire Blast. So I would take this courier, send it to the secret shop, and then have it grab your um, your arcane boots because you're not going to be able to push up to the side just with how how they're being really aggressive on you. So you should be able to buy that. that oh, you don't have mana. You can probably get the kill. Oh, just, okay, send the send the courier back. You can go to the side shop right now. Go to the side shop right now. Grab your mana boots. Stop chasing. Ah. Where are you going? <laughs> Go to the side shop. You can get the side, yeah, ignore the courier. You don't need that anymore. You can grab it at the side shop. Where? What? What are you doing? Oh, geez, your metal tower's under okay, attack. follow the line. Follow the line. You might as well just 40, try and kill him. But you don't have mana because we didn't get our mana boots yet. Jeez, this has been painful, but it's okay. Wait, did you buy it on the courier? Okay, so get that coming to you then. What I was trying to say is you can buy the energy booster at the side shop. There's no re reason... Yes! I thought you could only buy... I didn't... I thought you could only buy that at the secret shop. No, no, you can buy it from the side shop. Double kill, oh man. Wubble up a dub dub! Alright, let's use that. Delicious. Okay, next item I want you to do is I want you to go to the side shop and I want you to buy a Ring of Regeneration. Cool. What we're going to build is we're going to build a Bloodstone. What that's going to do is it's going to give you a ton of regeneration. It's going to give you a lot of HP and a lot of mana also. We will be disassembling these Arcane Boots at some point. You can spam your Ignite pretty much forever. You can probably kill him here. Okay, be careful. I would be careful. I would stun Axe, hoping for the kill, and back up. Back up, back up, back up. Buy out. Oh, my apologies. Um, so do you have a button on your keyboard that is used for quick purchase for items that are on your your quick purchase. I don't know. Oh my god. All four oh, are bottom. Is the laning phase over already? <laughs> oh the enemy's middle tower's gone. Um so let's buy observer wards. Let's buy like good. two or three. Oh! And let's buy a TP oh, scroll. Yeah, your bottom tower's under attack. Deep. Are going back bot? Yes, 100%. Look before you leap. So we want to see what's going on with these players up here. Where should I put the wards at? Okay, so places for our wards right now. We want to put one right up here. Now, this is called a forward lane ward. Because, you know, it's one in the lane. What this is going to provide you is if they TP on this tower, you're going to see them TP in. Another good place for you to put a ward, <laughs> spiky guy is tanky, is for you to put it right there on the rune spot down there. So then that's going to give you two places of vision 
Yeah, right here, always on the high ground. If you put it on the low ground, you're missing a ton of vision because you don't see up cliffs. So this ward here is going to allow you to see people teleporting in and coming that way. See, we can see Tiny and we can see the Lifestealer as well. And we can see the Wraith King. So that ward you placed just saw three people come in, which means that we don't want to be here <laughs> at all. Yeah, you don't, you don't want to be here. Let's go uh, Let's go to the jungle. Let's try and attack. convene with your team and then come in to fight. If like not, let it die. We can use our Ignite to farm the jungle. So, like, you could farm this small camp right here very easily oh boy, by using you're, Ignite. You're, 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 your top tower's under attack. Come on, get, 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 get with it. Oh, jeez, your top tower's under attack. So we want to try and drop this Ignite out as, as often as possible. No need for us to use this Soul Ring just yet. Yeah, stay back. They're just going to kill you. Keep going back. Keep backing. Keep backing. What I want you to do is I want you to go mid. We're going to go mid. What's going on up here? What are these two doing? Who cares? It, it doesn't matter. Why this game is all about us. So look at the team right there. While you're moving around the map, you want to see what's going on with your team, how much oh HP God, these people sure. have. If you were able to move there, would you be able to help them? Would you be able to kill them? The answer is yes, you can. However, since we responded slowly, we need to go back to just continuing our farming. So what I want you to work on, to focus on next is going to be for finding this sniper and killing him. I think he's somewhere in the enemy jungle. What do you think? Oh, Morty. Uh -oh. Probably. You better hold on to your hat because I don't know how he's killed. That's five, baby. Five. He's level nine. I don't know what he's doing and where this he is. is. Now. Stop, LOL. Give me my freaking gold. What's he talking about? I was probably mad because I went mid, uh, and now I'm like lingering nearby to lane. save him if you need to. Okay. Their whole team can't kill me. I mean, it's bristleback. A lot of people don't understand bristleback mechanics. Do you understand bristleback mechanics? Not really. I know that if you get hit by one quill spray, it's not gonna hurt much. But if you get hit by more than one, then you're screwed. Back up. We saw a flash on the mini map. We saw Tiny. We see Wraith King over here. We don't know anyone else in this region. So he just missed an avalanche. Good job. Go back in with her. Cast Bloodlust on her. Give her mana boots. You can kill them all. Cast Bloodlust on her. Stun the Tiny. Stun the Tiny. That was not the Tiny. I mean, it was a Tiny creep. <laughs> That was pretty funny. Run away! I don't think Sniper is farming Ancients from level 1. You call him Snot Guy? <laughs> For Bristleback? <laughs> I like it. So from the side shop, let's grab a TP scroll. Two TP scrolls. Over here. Cool. Two. Better than one. Hell yeah. Ooh, they took now, what's your team tower. doing? <laughs> They're pushing middle magically. <laughs> So what I want you to do is TP bottom and farm that out. Yeah, grab the point booster. Cool. So let's spam your ignite as you're moving up the wave. Kill these creeps off. And as you're doing this, I want you to keep an eye on what your team is doing middle. Keep farming. There's no reason for us to be that far back and scared, you know, because we have a ward here and a ward here. So we can see anyone coming in this way or this way. What's that? I was oh in gosh, the middle 40. of the creep waves. So backed up and then I went too far back. Understandable. The Understandable. Their 
you gotta Killing get free serious. Own it. Own it. You say it really fast a bunch of times. It starts to not make any sense. Own it. Own it. Own it. Own it. Own it. Yeah, your top tower's under attack. <laughs> oh, Dyer's courier got killed. Are you kidding me? Weak. All right, keep farming. Jeez, We're doing really well. We're going to push this wave, cast Bloodlust on your creeps, just to go fast, because why not? Excellent. And we're just going to look to pressure and kill this tower because the enemy team is off doing whatever in middle. We need to push our aggression as much as possible in other lanes. The biggest analogy that I like to have for League of Legends versus Dota is in League of Legends, the towers protect you, and in Dota, you protect the towers. Okay. So, like, you know, if they le if they were to leave you unattended with the tower, you're going to take it pretty quickly. Whereas in League, the tower is going to kill you. Oh, my. TP out. Uh, I'm dead. It was the best opportunity we could have had. So let's buy let's buy more observer wards. How many are available? Four. Let's buy two. I like two. And uh, let's buy one TP scroll as well. And let's swap out your sell iron branch with that. Branch. Yeah. Do what? Yeah. Yeah, you can sell the branch. So um, let's try and see what's going on here. Radiant just fortified their structure. All four of them are bottom. They're gonna get that tower. You see what you did? You made them mad. Hey Morty, guess what's not there? The bottom tower. <laughs> this game's funny. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, this is my games, man. Well, that's. Hey, that's what you're gonna have to learn through. It looks like the. Normally, that Rage King would have like 15 more items. Well, I mean, Axe is a quelling blade. Let's grab that point booster. No reason for it to be in the in the stash. Oh. Monster kill. Cool. So we're pretty close to this bloodstone. We only need another 1,100 gold. Are you gonna, am I going to take apart the uh, mana boots? Yep. Because after we have a bloodstone, we're not going to need the mana boot regeneration anymore. Yeah. You should be able to come help him pretty easily. Yeah, just get next to him and ignite, fire blast. Dead. Farm out this wave. Your team's letting you, or they're just not. Biggest thing ever. If you know, if there's anything that you could continually just keep forcing into your head, farm, 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 farm. If your team's not taking it, if they're just idly moving around and making inefficient decisions, then you need to capitalize and get the farm, because your team, look. They're just standing there. There's two people standing there outside of the Roshan pit and one person doing Roshan. How many of them are farming right now? Technically, none of them. I mean, you're going to get the Roshan, you're going to get the Tote, you're going to get the Aegis, and, you know, all the things that are associated with that, you will get farm. However, not really. I totally forgot Lone Druid was in this game. He's kind of been just doing stuff. I don't really know. I mean, as far as I'm concerned, your whole team is just kind of doing stuff. Can I buy the Vitality Booster from a side shop? No, you cannot. That, need a secret shop? that is the secret shop. So let's push this this wave here if we can, and let's hope to take this tower down here. Um, what I want you to do after you clear this creep wave is I want you to run ninja style over here and there. place a ward oh. right there. Love -a -love -a -dub -dub. Place it where? Oh boy, killing spree. You can see all my drawings, right? Yeah. Cool. Excellent. Let's take this tower. Ignite on the creeps. Don't forget about this soul ring if you're burning through a lot of your mana. So if you're taking damage from the tower, what you can do is A, click one of your creeps. Awesome, you just did it. I bet you learned that pretty early in. Yeah. Good. Hey, the bottom <laughs> so let's have the courier coming to you with the recipe for the bloodstone. Oh, he's back at the. Oh, he's all the way elsewhere. Um. 
Let's linger here for the next rune, because it's 2353. And use your mana boots. Excellent. <laughs> uh, of course, we get a regeneration rune. What should I drop to get this? Orb of Venom. Get rid of it. Grab your vitality booster. Disassemble your arcane boots. Right now. Pick up. Pick up. That one first. Excellent. Then grab your boots. Cool. What's going on over there? You have the courier coming to you with the recipe? Excellent. Your next item is going to be an Aghanims. And you pretty much are going to have as much mana as your heart could ever desire with this Bloodstone. So spam your Ignite. Stun the Sniper. Or, yeah, I would stun... I would just try and kill the Sniper. Don't forget Bloodlust. Go on that sniper. Fire blast him. Keep moving forward. Ignite. Nicely done. So what you need to remember when you're going to cast these spells is always, you know, move and click. Move and click. Um, yeah. It's a similar thing with, like, even auto-attacking or right-clicking on the, on the character. You want to move and hit him. And move and hit him. Because that's how you're going to maximize... Uh, the amount of damage that you can put out on him. Because if you didn't keep moving before you casted the Fire Blast on him, you may have not been able to get the Fire Blast on him. Right. Where should I put the other ward? Uh, we can put it right here. And that would let us see if the enemy comes in this way or this way. No, no, no. Here. I can see it on the mini-map, but I can't see it, like, in the game. Can you see that drawing? Oh, I see it. I see it. Lovely. And let's take this. Put Bloodlust on your Siege Creep. Uh, or him. Already, uh, like it really doesn't matter. You're going to take this thing in seconds. So after you take this, see what's going on middle. I want you to look, click low. through the mini-map, and see what's going on. So your your thought process should go is a pretty pretty easy follow up. Now go go go! You can kill all of them. Remember, fight and click. You want to make sure you're on high ground so you can keep up the pursuit. You've got two seconds and you have another fire blast. Blast the hell out of him! You've got over two thousand life. You are not scared of anything. We should start calling this person triple kill because they got a triple kill. Bloodlust, the bear. Excellent. Something cool about the bear, if the lone druid wasn't a doofus. Click a creep, will it take it off the bear, or does that only work if it's on me? Only works if on you. Stun him. Don't let him kill your buddy. I would back up. To not take tower damage. And bloodlust the bristleback. Never mind. He just got murdered. <laughs> I like. I don't expect people to run in and fight like that if they don't have their ultimate up. And just murder him. Just, just keep killing all of these people. Back up. Back up. Back up. Great job juking that. Stun on anyone. Tiny axe. Whomever. You really. It, it's hard for me to in the moment to tell you who to do it to. Most of the time, it's going to be whoever has a stun. So tiny is going to be your. A bigger deal for you. And you're getting sniped, but it doesn't matter. Because you've got over 2,000 HP. I'll hurry my full yeah, grab it. I actually wanted the bounty rune. Ah <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, first world problems. Yeah. So, uh, I guess we could just keep killing everybody. You're a little low, but if you look at your HP comparatively to your allies and your enemies, you're sitting pretty husky. So as long as your positioning is good, you should be fine to still kill everybody. Great job. Back up, back up. And stun on Tiny. Stun on Tiny. Keep backing. 
I would go in the trees. Go in the trees. And keep going through to the right. And then hit him again. Hit him again with your spells. And back up. It's, it's really, that's what you do. You just keep running away or back in. Run away, come back in, and stun him. And look at that. He's dead. I would TP back to the base. There you go. Trouble's over. And let's finish our Aghanims. So now, we have Unrefined Fire Blast 2. Ah. <laughs> I didn't know I was moving. 868. Let's buy more wards! More wards! My shadow leaps ahead! Here you go, now I have all of the wards. All, all of them. The You've got them all. It's not a trinket. You've got it, guys. So how are you feeling? Pretty good, this is way better than I've ever done. <laughs> <laughs> A lot of it's about just taking smart fights and having good positioning. Um, with that in mind, there are often games where you're playing Ogre Magi where you're not going to rush a Bloodstone. You're going to get things like a Force Staff, a Blink Dagger, potentially a Glimmer Cape if you're being defensive. And, you know, after the game, we'll, we'll talk about all of those situations for what would work best and why and, you know, that sort of stuff. Um, I would put that ward up by the Roshan Pit again. So there's a few spots that you could place it. So for Roshan, you could put it here, or here, or here, or here. There's four different spots you could put it to cover the pit. Kill him! You gotta get oh god, Ignite! He's Ignite! Oh my god, you got bashed! And keep running, keep running, keep running. Stun one, stun the other, and TP out. Aw, oh, you could have lived. But insta-respawn Bloodstone, you're alive. So what I would have done is I would have cast Fire Blast on one, unrefined Fire Blast on the other one, oh, and just TP'd out. Because they both would have been stunned, and then you could have just walked away. I forgot unrefined Fire Blast. Don't worry. No worries. It's all about that four times chance for for the fire blast, so much damage. What is he doing? Uh, dying. So, Ogre requires 17 charges on... Oh, I guess disconnecting. Crashing. Yeah, Ogre getting 17 charges on a Bloodstone? Lots of assists. That's what happened. <laughs> I'm gonna scare your entire team by talking to them. So, um, you would want to primarily be using your Ignite on the Tiny because he has a Blink Dagger and that would disable it. Throw a stun out on Tiny. You don't want to lead with Unrefined Fire Blast. Remember, that's your, that's your follow-up. Alright, he's going to come up. Ignite. Stuns, stuns, stuns. Aw, oh, we're dead. So what I'm noticing is, like, you, in conjunction with your team, are getting clumped up a lot. Like, it's... You're making it really convenient for Tiny to come in, throw an avalanche, and hit all of you at the same time with it. Yeah, that, uh... Flames a lot of getting wrecked by Tiny that's happened to me. Fire blasts! Oh, 
Oh, uh, nicely done. Oh, Dyer's carrier just got killed. I want it. Oh, I forgot. He has a magic. Oh, Omega kills. Oh my god! Do it! Kill him! Turn! Kill him! Kill him! Kill him! No! We could have had him. Um, so th something that's awesome about anyone that does, like, armlet toggling is if you put ignite on them, they'll kill themselves. Because, uh, with armlet toggling, it'll take down their HP to, like, one. Yeah. Yeah. Fix my hair. My, shadow leaps my hair is ahead. fine. Maybe. I don't know. Keep the pressure on. Man, this was a pretty murder intensive game. These are my games, man. Dude, 55 to 29. It's just like. It's like each team is just throwing themselves at each other. Looks like dire structures are fortified. It's got 1 HP! Of oh, 48. We did it! Or they did it, I should say! They did it! The Radiant people did it! Da da da! Okay, so let's reflect on that game a little bit. My hair is fabulous. Thank you. I have no idea what it looks like. Which way does it need to go? No, not that way. Whatever. It just does. I just let it do what it wants. I'm not too picky. Okay. Um, so yeah, let's talk about that game. Tell me about it. Tell me everything about that game that was different from what you may have done. And I also want you to tell me about things relating to like the items and where you would find them. Let's yeah, keep I things didn't simple. Know that you could buy like the blue crystal thing. I didn't know you could buy that on the side shop. Mm -hmm. Like I always go to the secret shop to get it. Okay. Like, I just thought that things that were like secret shop items could only be bought there. It they have their own uh overlap of items that are there. Um which has, you know, changed over time. Um do you want me to send you a list of the things that are specifically sold there? And link incoming on TeamSpeak. Okay, so that's what that's that's that'll show you what's at the secret shop. Okay, and let's get you side shop. Is it called just side shop? Oh yeah, it is. Okay, yeah, cool. And then here is the side lane. So it's pretty interesting um, the types of items that you can purchase on the side lane versus the secret shop. And then there's lots of items that you can upgrade um, from the side lane shop exclusively, too. For instance, you could build a poor man's shield, or the arcane boots, or phase boots, or power treads. Um, just, you know, as, as an example of a few items. But there's a lot of items that you can get from them. The green boots... Just from the secret shop, though, right? You have to get the... The Tranquil Boots? So what you would yeah. do, if you would want to build the Tranquil Boots from the side shop into the game, you would buy a Ring of Protection as one of your original items. And then you can buy the Ring of Regeneration, and then the Boots from the side shop, and then that'll get you Tranquil Boots. So that would require a little bit of, you know, premeditated thought. But, um, yes, you can certainly still do that. I didn't know you could get ultimate orbs. 
Mm hmm. Yeah. You used to be able to get a talisman as well. You know, for evasion. Yeah, the broadsword replacing Talisman of Evasion was done in 683. Yeah, I've also never skipped Bloodlust entirely. You I've skip it? Him. You skip it entirely? Like, how you had me max Fire Blast and Ignite before I put a single point in the Bloodlust? Mm hmm. Like, I've never done that on him or max ignite before fire blast well in terms of just a raw damage output assuming the enemy team is clumping which they are and the type of damage that you could apply across a team versus a single target ignite's going to be the way to go however if you're looking for single kill potential you're going to want to do fire blast over ignite right um and, and that definitely comes down to a game-to-game -game perspective, but I generally prefer going higher in Ignite than Fire Blast because of the damage difference and the slow and the fact that it's an area of effect spell uh, because you can do things like Ogre with Ogre, such as like stacking camps in the jungle and then clearing them with Ignite because it has an, because it's an AoE then. Yeah. And then you could farm stacked camps as Ogre. Like, I had done that before, but I only did it late game because I had never... Mm -hmm. Yeah, but, but that's something that you could do at level 7, technically. Yeah. Space cow? No. Let's, let's keep things simple for now. <laughs> you know, nothing, nothing too, too crazy and a half. Um, so for those who are just jumping in and for those who have already, already been here for a while, um, as a reminder, the Rick and Morty announcer packs are going to be given away. I have four of them remaining. Type exclamation point free to get the link for it. And you can enter that way. And uh, the raffle, the giveaway closes at 9 o'clock tonight. And then I'll be giving them away um, to those prospective people. Uh, as I'm able to see them. So let's talk more about the Ogre Magi. Um, really, really strong in the early game sense, and even into the mid and late game sense. Uh, when you're using your Ignite, you want to be looking for things such as like a Blink Dagger, and you also want to be looking to to use Ignite to disrupt the movement of the enemy because it slows them down. And because Ignite is a damage over time spell, it would negate a Blink Dagger, for instance. Right. I didn't think about that until you had said it during the game. Yeah, and Tiny had a Blink Dagger. That was one of the reasons why um, I mentioned it. Now, on somebody like the Life Stealer, if I ignited him and then he used his Q, would it take the Ignite off of him? Correct. Correct, indeed. A uh, big patch coming out for Dota 2 Reborn. Yeah, Rick and Morty is awesome. Don't be a hater. I've never watched it. It's very funny. It's worth it. It's worth watching. There's not even a lot of episodes out. Like, you could binge watch it all pretty quickly. Um, now, I know we didn't really work on much of, like, just the general support mechanics, but, I, like, with where you're at, you know, being level 6, 20 wins, and probably having, what, 40 to 50 games total under your belt, there's going to be a... There you go. There's going to be a ton that you're going to learn just by playing all the heroes and going through the game. Because, uh, you know, just with where you're at, not even knowing all of the heroes and all of the heroes' abilities and all of the cute little mechanics that kind of entail with them all, those are all things that you're going to have to develop over time. And it's going to be much more from first-hand experience than that of just, like, watching and observing. Because you can learn a lot by watching, but it's different once it's happening to you, and then you need to learn yeah. how to gauge and respond to it. 
So um, if anything that I could suggest to you right now, it's just play more. I think you're off to a great start, dude. Okay. Um, ward coverage, you can do as Ward's any hero. I'm afraid of in Dota because I know, like, aside from just not knowing, aside from where there's an eyeball, put a ward. Like, I always have to worry about, like, brewing up and blocking a camp that I don't want blocked or mm -hmm. something like that. So, like, kind of iffy on the wards. No, I get that. I do. Um, but you shouldn't be scared of it. You're going to make mistakes. It's fine. You need to make mistakes in order to be able to learn from those mistakes. And then you're able to do replay analysis and, you know, watch your own replays and be able to, you know, grow from those. Right. And it looks like the Dota network went down again. Yeah, it did for me too. That's hilarious. Um, let's see. Yeah, so don't be don't be afraid to buy wards. Don't be afraid to put down wards. If you accidentally block a camp, it's not the end of the world. It's only going to last seven minutes if it's an observer. You know, four minutes if it's a sentry. Um, regardless what role you're playing, whether it's a carry or a, a support or a mid or an off lane, don't be scared to buy wards. Just flat out. You know, if you want to be able to see where they may be coming from to give you a little bit better knowledge than the enemy, because, you know, a game like Dota, it's all about having more knowledge than the enemy. Right. Uh, on top of a lot of other things, but that's just one of the things. Um, then you need to make sure that you have the wards down and, and at least purchase, because you can't necessarily rely on your team to have those things consistently. I've had games recently, even yesterday, with me being where I am as a player, where I was buying wards as a carry or a core position. Yeah, I've had to buy the courier a lot as the carry. I mean, that's a little bit more unfortunate. And then realize that we just don't have one. Yeah, that's that's really unfortunate. You definitely don't want that to happen. But uh, like I said, it's better to have one than to not. Yeah, you can always learn something at at any point in, in time. I mean, I, I learn things on, a, at least on a knowledge base, I learn at least one or two things every week. And for me, that's getting increasingly difficult for me to learn things on a knowledge base. For myself, what limits me as a player is much more of a mechanical basis of just not playing that much. Um, you know, I, although I may be on Dota for obscene amounts of hours... Not it's, actually playing. It's, I am not playing. It's all analysis. It's, it is all coaching. When I started doing the coaching for everybody, I was a little over 4K MMR, and just like the gradual time of me, you know, playing a game here, playing a game there, having a binge game, a binge day here and there, you know, it's just progressively gone down. Which, you know, it's it's whatever. It'll bounce back up if I dedicate the time to pl start playing ranked gameplay again. But I'm not too worried about it. Because right now my focus is much more on helping people get better, not grinding my own MMR higher. Because right. it's not that important to me. Yeah, I've only been playing for like two weeks. Yeah, see, and you're gonna see for for you only being at two weeks, I think you did very well. <laughs> Given I, I've seen you, I don't even know how long you've been hanging out in the stream for. I feel like I've seen you at least yeah, been, most I've been in the days. Longer, I just haven't been actually playing. Did you get uh, the inspiration after the International? Yeah. A lot of people did. Last year, after the International, I downloaded it for the first time, played like two games, got called a noob, and left. It's going to happen, but and it would happen in any year, of them. When TI came around, I downloaded it again. And like I said, I've been tired of League for like almost a year now, so I'll oh, take wow. I'll actually uh, give it some time. Okay. Play it, and I've been enjoying it and not even playing League anymore, so... Ooh, look at that. That's... Hey, it's a good sign. I mean, it's important to enjoy what you're doing. And for you, for League just being a chore or whatever it was at for you at that point, that's no fun. 
everybody See, like, who, I don't know. I assume it's the same in Dota once you've played it long enough. Like, everybody just gets sick of it and quits playing it for months at a time. I mean, I know people that get frustrated and will literally say in chat, how do you guys keep going on with playing? And we'll be like, what do you mean? You know, how do you keep playing games, man? I mean, when you're at that point, then it is a problem. You're not getting the enjoyment out of the game, and you got to take a break. I mean, that's really how what it comes down to. And if there's something that's impacting your games that is making them unenjoyable, then change that or change yourself. So I should learn to speak Spanish? <sighs> or just learn how to talk to your allies without talking to your allies. Being a mixture of alt left clicking on your spells and abilities and items and pings and the chat wheel function. I've had games where I've communicated to my entire team the whole game just by using that. That sort of stuff. It's a lot easier than you think once once you get around I to it. I never started using it until today. Mm -hmm. Like earlier today I played a game and started using I had never actually used the chat for that. It's strong. What do you have on your um on your chat wheel right now? Uh, whatever the default is. Might want to change it then. For me, I have the top being the current time, top right as well played, the right as missing, bottom right care, bottom get back, bottom left need wards, which I never ever use actually. Um, because I'm generally playing support or I'll just buy it myself. I think that's such a passive-aggressive thing, the need wards thing. At least at my yeah. level, it feels passive-aggressive, because it's like, dude, really? Shut up. Um, and then, you know, you got I've got my two funny ones. Like, I immediately regret my decision, and, uh, relax, you're doing fine. I think that's one of the most important ones. Relax, you're doing fine. Yeah, if I were to start grinding my MMR... To increase it, I would be playing a mixture of Enigma, Bounty Hunter, and um, Storm or Queen of Pain, probably. Like, those four heroes, probably. Yeah, Don't Give Up's a good one, too. Hey, Press the Pig! I thought you said you were going to miss it tonight. Number E of microphone anxiety. Go for it, dude. And Do you use um, the current time for Roshan. Yep. Um, sometimes I'll use it for big spells too, like if black holes cast, or like tide ult, or spec ult. I'll use it to make a, a notation of the time. And then I'll do my darndest to remember how long the cooldowns are for those big spells. And then I'll crunch out when those are again. But that's going to be much more for competitive play. If I'm playing on a five stack. Um, so sandwiches. To answer your question regarding uh, coaching and pricing.